Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 23 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to create a layout for the customer registration. Okay, in our previous video, we have created the checkout page. This is not very beautiful, but yes, it can work for us. So, let's create the customer register page. So, first of all, we will give a link here and then we will create the page okay so let's open our front end open our public uh, sorry source component and then we will open the header.js file right and one more thing here i'm just going to open the get bootstrap right so after opening the get bootstrap file not file website let's go to doc let's go to navbar okay let's go to navbar and then we can uh, okay let's go to how it works actually we need a drop down right so let's copy this list okay and we have here okay so my cart let's paste it here and say it my account right and in the my account we have register login and logout okay and then we also have this is hr closing tag dashboard yes this is fine now replace the class with a class name class name equaled right so here we are so when we go here you can see that drop down actually let's say it my account right so this is my account and when we click on the register we should go to the register page so let's make it a link because we are going to create a register page okay and here we have let's make it to slash and we will say customer register right and let's open the app.js file let's open one more file here component this is we have a checkout let's copy this and paste it here okay and say it customer or we can do one more thing register.js but within the customer folder right so register.js but within a customer folder right so register okay all right then we have we just need a register and then let's remove all of these okay and let's uh, actually we need this but let, let's remove the content okay and then we will give offset to so it will take space from two okay and then let's go to source app.js and then let's import the register so register okay component slash we have customer slash register all right then we have checkout here let's add it customer register or we can make it more simple customer register this kind of thing okay so this is nice so let's change this in our header and say it customer register all right and uh, register dot logo okay 
all right okay let's go to register and here we have our register page and now what i will do okay let's remove the head heading let's create the page let's design the page so i will use the card style so card and let's use card header card header and in card header we will say register right you can see that it's taking two spaces right from left then we have div class card body then we will create a table responsive or we can do one more thing here let's go to documents let's go to form and let's let's we have a form and we will just copy this form right and paste in the card body paste it in the card body okay and then we have a class and we will remove this actually it's we need to add closing tag uh, let's remove this uh, checkbox don't need this all right and here we have okay let's make it more simple uh, let's remove this actually we need id so we'll say username actually okay so this is label for username label is when you click on this it will focus on here okay it is attached with the id we don't need this help right so we'll copy this paste it here okay and make the required changes so password and let's say username right and this is username type text okay and then for password we have password and this is type password one more field we need to add here let's add it uh, email right email okay type email so username email and password also let's do two more fields okay so this is our first name this is our first name i'm actually doing this according to the you know django uh, user authentication later i will explain you right so this is last name let's say last name okay last name and this will be text okay so first name last name username email password and one more thing we will do later we will create this uh, you know user can update his billing profile but we, we will do that later okay so this is simple form user can register from this form right so and let's make this okay this is fine so okay and similarly let's create the login form also let's create it and uh, let's copy paste and say it login okay and let's say it login right and here we have a login login we just need username and password we don't need anything else right and in the checkout in the header actually so what we will do we will copy whole this list paste it here we will say login and here we will say right in in the app we'll copy this paste it here login login 
all right and let's import the login component okay all we done so when we what we have why this is not showing drop down item class okay login this is register right so we have created our two pages register and login and uh, you can see that how we have created so do your practice add this in your project i am assuming that you are creating this project uh, as i am doing step by step right in the next video we will create our forget page and we will see how the dashboard will how we will design the dashboard right and uh, there are lots of pages we need to design then we will start the backend api okay so i hope you are enjoying this series and uh, we will do lot of things in this uh, series uh, payment gateways and uh, notification things okay so stay tuned with the code artisan lab and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and click on the bell icon for regular updates right so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you